Reaction on Capitol Hill as the Senate passes the so-called Respect for Marriage Act. Twelve Republicans voted to approve the bill, which now moves to the House of Representatives. Supporters say that it will enshrine same-sex marriage rights into law, but critics caution that it threatens religious liberties. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. Despite Republicans' best efforts, several amendments were voted down that would have protected religious liberties. Texas Senator John Cornyn says the way the bill is written opens up anyone to lawsuits. This legislation expressly empowers private litigants to sue religious institutions, faith-based organizations, and private parties who oppose for sincerely held religious beliefs same-sex marriage. The Senate version of the bill, which codifies the Supreme Court's 2015 decision, would require all states to recognize and accept the legitimacy of same-sex marriages performed elsewhere, but wouldn't require states to issue a marriage license contrary to its own law. Passing Democrats bill praised its passage. Send, passing the bill is our chance to send to a message to Americans everywhere, no matter who you are, where, who you are or who you love, you too deserve dignity and equal treatment under the law. Meanwhile, Democrats are trying to prevent a possible December 9th rail strike, which could cost the U.S. economy $2 billion a day. This is an urgent issue and Congress needs to step up. Uh, we don't like to do this. We'd rather see the parties do it through labor negotiations. But at this point, there's no other alternative. Republicans tell me the bigger issue, the Biden administration lied to Americans. Certainly, I'm very concerned about this. Uh, the Biden administration took credit for resolving the crisis back in September. Of course, this was a ploy, obvious to us now. This was just a ploy to get past the midterm elections. Senator Bernie Sanders says he has no sympathy for rail companies who made a record-breaking $21 billion in profits in the first nine months of this year. You have workers all over this country who work for the railroads. People who are working at dangerous jobs in inclement weather have zero paid sick leave. That is outrageous. House lawmakers ended up passing two bills, one to codify an agreement between rail workers and management, the other giving rail workers seven paid sick leaves. The Senate will now take up the issue. Leaders want to get this passed to avoid a strike. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.